I think the few things I want to say. One, there's going to be some people in the audience who are saying, I know how to pace, I need to do that. Sometimes I had to remind myself as a physician in this space of making sure we're hitting the basics. And that's just like really important to hear. It's hard when you're talking about a treatment not to talk about the fundamental causes of something. The current data we have, lots of EBV reactivation. Is that a part of long COVID? Is that long COVID plus? We're not sure. How much of this is mold toxicity? How much is this of this is this Bartonella babesia? And so that's a really hard thing because we've started off talking about the mitochondria and there's good papers. That I think the initial one came out of Canada of how the virus attacks the mitochondria. For everyone in the room, the mitochondria makes 95% of ATP. Not only is it important for energy, but ATP is important to get everything done. Oxaloacetate, not sure if that was mentioned. There's a randomized control trial published at the Bateman Horn Center back in November. That is a great option. It fits right into the Krebs cycle. I've had some good benefit in that. There's another paper that came out about NAD+. I just, I know it was mentioned already. Great option. You can get it either intranasally or patchwise or injection. Those are things that just work. Like people are like, oh, wow, I got a bit of energy. And that's super helpful. Natokinase, I've given a lot of blood thinners to people. Natokinase has been helpful. 